In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this drawing. It's part one in section 7.3, Tolerances. I'm going to create my base view. I'm going to set my scale at 1.5 to 1. change the scale of my ISO to uh, 1 to 1 and also turn on shaded for my ISO. Go to annotate, Let's choose my center line tool, choose the outer circles, choose this uh, center line tool, Find this green dot. And the same on the other side. Right mouse button create. Hit escape to exit the command. Select the line and uh, draw out the line a bit. Get it away from the part I'm going to be using it for dimensioning. Now, Continue drawing some more center lines. Select this center green point here, and the same on the other side. Go to dimensioning. I'm going to go, I'm going to place two section views. I'll go back to place views, choose section, and I'm going to choose this view. I'm going to position my cursor here at the green dot, and once again here at the green dot. Right mouse button, continue. And likewise, I'm going to do the same here. Section view. Choose this view. Find the green dot and the same over here. Right mouse button continue. I'm going to uh, hover over this line. I'm going to delete this. Uh, inventor puts this black border around my view. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to uh, sl select the border, right click, and turn off visibility, and I'll do that for all these lines.
go back to dimensioning. I'm going to choose the dimension type and choose aligned. I'm going to choose this line and this line to specify the angle. I'm going to uh, choose dimension type and specify the diameter. I'm going to go around and adjust my, uh, the significant figures on my dimensions on my, to uh, specify my tolerances. And, uh, some of these uh, dimensions are not that critical. I'm going to highlight this, uh, double click on the dimension, and change the primary unit from three significant figures to two significant figures. I hit OK. You notice now it says 1.25 in, instead of uh, 1.250. I'm going to do the same for some other dimensions. To make the process a little bit quicker, I could do each di dimension individually. But I'm going to copy properties. And then I could double click on uh, individual dimensions, the dimensions I want to, uh, to change. Some of these dimensions are also even less critical. Uh, take, for instance, this dimension here. I'm going to hit Escape to get out of that command. I'm going to double click here. And I'm going to change the significant figures to, <clears throat> uh, to zero. And you notice now it says one inch. 
So uh, I'm going to uh, copy the properties here. I'm going to change this dimension here. I'm going to specify stack dimensions and I'm going to first of all change the primary tolerance to three significant figures and change the upper is going to be 5.36 and the lower is going to stay at 0.531. I'm going to do the same here. Go to three significant figures. Set the upper limit to 55.755, leave the lower at 0 0.750. Hit OK. Do the same here. Three significant figures. Go to stacked. The upper is 595 and the lower is 590. Hit OK. Notice there's one dimension I missed here. I'm going to change that to uh, two significant figures. Hit OK. I'm going to create a tolerance table. Position it about here. Caps on. Hit OK. Hit Escape, and uh, I can grab this tolerance table and uh, reposition it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, export the drawing to PDF and submit it to LMS to complete the assignment.